Hey guys, Riley Spanish here. In this video, I have a Reshiram and Charizard GX Premium Collection uh, with the Tag Team GX Gold Card promo and 10 packs. There's about a 100% chance that I regret opening this because the odds of uh, getting back what this is worth sealed is next to impossible, but I did get a very good deal on a bunch of sealed product today, including this. And there's so much potential with, what is it, five Chilling Rain packs, three Evolving Skies, and two Vivid Voltage. Like, I really can't resist those packs. They, they will be beckoning to me in my sleep if I try to leave this sealed in the same place that I live. So there's the Jumbo. Reshiram and Charizard GX. Let me get the normal sized one out. Beautiful card there. I do have a couple of these, but um, you know, this alone is worth like eight to ten dollars typically. But what I am after is these old sword and shield packs. Really hoping I do okay. I opened the Pikachu and Zekrom one and I did pretty dang bad on it, not gonna lie, but I've got a lot of chances here. Um, as far as I consider them, like none of these are junk sets. There's a lot, tough pull rates, but a lot of potential. Um, nothing like Darkness Ablaze in here or anything like that. No Rebel Clash, none of those sets that you're probably going to get nothing, and even if you get a hit, it's not going to be worth anything. Zeb Stryka and Mudsdale from that first uh, Vivid Voltage pack. And second and final Vivid Voltage pack with that big Pikachu VMAX on the cover artwork. Wouldn't mind seeing that in rainbow art form here do have a chance with a good code card. Typically when I get an ultra rare from uh, Vivid Voltage, it's always Aegis Slash, so let's see if that's what I get this time. Hey, Rayquaza Amazing Rare. That is a nice hit, and I do have something behind it, the B Full Art. That was a great little double banger from Vivid Voltage. Definitely not paying for the box yet, but Happy to see that. I don't know what she's worth. She might actually be worth a little bit. Um, I will have to check because I don't know if I've ever pulled that card before. Let's get into the five Chilling Rain. One of my favorite sets um, just because it, when I really, really got hard back into ripping packs, this was the uh, new set at the time. I started getting a little bit back into it during like the team up era of Sun and Moon, Runa Regis and Serena. But um, I was just buying like a pack here and there, but then around chilling rain time I started really going hard on the packs and ripping like crazy. Didn't have a great job at the time, so I wasn't able to uh, hang on to all the good stuff I pulled back then. Unfortunately, I wish that I would have, but got to uh, just try and do what I can to get all those alternate arts and everything. Do have a chance here with that full art silver border on a chilling rain pack. Can I get an alternate art? I would really, really love to see the Moltres, but probably just a normal full art. Let's see. It is the Celebi V Full Art. I will definitely take that. All right, moving on. That was just the second pack of Chilling Rain. This this box is already better than the Viv or the uh, Pikachu and Zekrom one. Um, two Full Arts and an amazing rare. I'm hoping that's not all I get, considering I still have five packs to go after this one, but. I will definitely take those hits. Got the Galarian Surfetched non hollow. Zapdos cover artwork here. Back to another good code card on Chilling Rain. Can I see that nice silver border again, or maybe a, uh, a VMAX border? Peonia. 
and a normal V. It is Tornadus V this time. That is still four hits from the first six packs. Not complaining there. And final pack of Chilling Rain, Ice Rider Calyrex cover art, and another good code card. Let's finish strong. No rare hollows, please. Got the Ralts, and of course, had to get a hollow rare, Grap Locked. All right. Final three packs, all evolving skies. Let's let's be that guy and do the uh, Umbreon cover artwork last to try and bait something good out. We have got a good code card, and I thought I saw a uh, a shiny edge actually when I was flipping that around. It is a full art. Please be uh, not Dracovish. Duraludon V Full Art. I will take that. That's three full arts. Nothing better than a full art, but three full arts is uh, pretty crazy from these sets. Second Evolving Skies Pack. Not a good code card this time. Lillipup and Smeargle. All right, can I get some last pack magic in the Umbreon pack? Would love to see something, and I am not going to see something, unfortunately. Have that all green code card. I wish it was flipped the other way so I couldn't see it, but here we go. Flapple and Gigalith. Either way, was it worth opening? Of course not, but you get the cool promo, and I did manage to get a decent amount of hits. Got the Duraludon V Full Art, Celebi V Full Art, the B or Bea, not exactly positive, but got her in a full art from Vivid Voltage. Got the normal V Tornadus and that amazing rare Rayquaza. So either way, I am pretty satisfied with how that went. Um, honestly better than I anticipated, so I will definitely take it. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing.